Hello, welcome back. In the last video, we discovered the Siam and the Zulus. Can't really see either of them at the moment. I can see a bit of the Siam up here. Uh, one, can't remember who it was, but someone entered the Renaissance. So we now have a spy. And in terms of uh, how we're doing, well, this is how we're doing. The Polynesians actually now have the worst military, which is that's something we might be able to take advantage of. Kind of at a point where, uh, kind of at a crossroads. So we could either try and keep up tech-wise, or maybe build up a military. And it's not entirely sure to me which way I should take at the moment. So. If I could take Nuka Heva before the Indonesians do, that would be very useful. But if I don't get those universities up and at least a couple of my cities, it could start to fall really far behind tech-wise. So uh, I guess I'll figure out that out in uh, this video. Right, so I'll get going next turn. got quite a bit of uh, money to spend as well. For one of these city-states was a bit more friendly, I probably would sign them up or give them some money, but it's not the case at the moment. Could actually buy a university with uh, that money when we get the tech. Right, uh, there's a couple of warriors I need to upgrade in this second as well. What I've noticed as well is uh, the other civilization that we haven't met, which is I think Brazil almost definitely, uh, Judaism is spreading around this area. So they're almost definitely over here as well. So this is basically a massive Pangaea map on a, even though it's a fractal map. There are, the Portuguese are yet to have a religion, so maybe if I get a missionary or great prophet, prophet down here at some point, it might be a good idea. Uh, oh, Eu sou speaking Pedro, off. Imperador do Brasil. Tenho pouco tempo para agradecer. O que eu traz aqui? Right, so this is Pedro de Pius of Brazil, new civilization. Uh, so he's picked piety as well. So it's at least five favor, of us who have four or five. Uh, might want to become friends with him actually. I'll ask him in a bit because he won't accept straight away. <laughs> they're not doing amazingly, but they're the only civilization with a religion down there, so if their religion's quite good, they could do well. It's a culture when they've got founders. Not massively strong. But they're probably going a tourism route, aren't they? So that could be problematic, potentially. I think there is a way to turn culture into tourism. Uh, with some later buildings, maybe? Like hotel? I'm not entirely sure. I haven't had a good look at it. Uh, might build a work boat when this crabs comes into play. Yeah, I don't really need the happiness at the moment. Uh, this tile's in a turn, so I might just go there. Right, so we've got the Writers Guild in the capital. 
so this will start to give us a great writer points. You can't really neglect tourism too much even if you're not going for it because it's massive you can have massive happiness penalties if someone else's tourism is very strong later on so to counter that I would need to get things like uh, writers and artists and musicians but at the moment I think we don't really have the food to start sticking in here Yeah, I don't know, it's close though. That's something I might change my mind on in a bit. Uh, what we do need is an aqueduct though. That oracle is still available somehow. Then it's uh, as good as social policies are, they're not as strong as they used to be because you can't actually win by uh, focusing on them anymore. Tourism has taken over from there. So we've got two iron now, so well. I'll upgrade. Oh, it doesn't seem as uh, allowing me to upgrade there yet. Uh, right, next turn. Well, maybe I don't have. Do I have the tech? No, I don't. I don't even have iron working, that's why I can't upgrade those. Oh, wow. Nuki Heaver is... All I need to do is get a warrior in there and they take it. Or any melee combat. I think uh, my friendship treaty runs out with the Polynesians in about 136 and I really... I don't think it's worth breaking it just to take that. Won't sell back the horses because I'm gonna need them soon. Oh, uh, market issue. I think I'm gonna stick some f uh, money in there. And sadly, Poland got the Petra. I can't remember me putting that on automation, but it was somehow. Should be back in Baghdad. Right, so... Right, stick some money in Mogadishu. Uh, 
Uh, the most value is the thousand gold, but there's no way I can afford that, so 20 influence will have to do for now. And need to rejig Mecca because the aqueduct to be done the same time as it grows, which I don't want. Change that tile back next turn. I think that's end of turn. Oracle has finally been been built. And we've got Golden Age, brilliant. Oh wow, so we could make Leventa friends as well. Well, they are friends. Could make them allies if I give them a bit more uh, money. Or I might just wait in to get Islam in this city for them. There's not an awful lot of things I can spend faith on at the moment. Missionaries and profits, and that's about it. Um, I'm not sure I really need their faith that much, or uh, although it would be quite useful to have an ally by here. Okay, so aqueduct is finished. I'm actually going to build a barracks and start getting some military units out. If they can't take Nukihiva, I'll come in and nick it. Oh well, looks like they did get a warrior there, or something, some melee unit. I'm 
I'm gonna have to go military now, I think, otherwise Indonesia's gonna come down here and take out the Polynesians. Three things are necessary for the salvation of man. To know what he ought to believe, to know what he ought to desire, and to know what he ought to do. Wow, 18 turns for that. That seems a long time, actually. Tempted to move that. Yeah, it's only three stars on there. Um, I think I'll move it to Lisbon. Uh, they're in the medieval era. Could buy some embassies actually. I think I might do that. Uh, so, who don't we know? We don't know... Hola? Well, I'll move my scout first, see if he can find the capital. No. Hola? Estou ouvindo. Deveremos prosperar através do comércio? Okay, trade embassy. Deveremos prosperar através do comércio. I'll trade with uh, Zulans. Baiete. O Busacho. Oh, that's a surprise. So, so Zulus capitals all the way down there. And last one is Siam. Indeed, Don Rob. Rao, come on, fang you. Right. Uh, so I, I think I might spy on Siam actually. They just entered the Renaissance. I don't think they're the tech leader though. No, Indonesia is. Poland's actually the bottom in tech now. As long as as long as Indonesia doesn't declare war on me at some stage, I think I can well Poland and Polynesia are both weak. So chances could be good as long as I can build up a decent military, I think. Right, so spy on Siam. actually keep this pikeman up here instead of moving him back to Baghdad so I'm probably gonna need him in about ten turns. Dean on production focus now, I think.
wouldn't be bad. But opportunity cost is a problem now. And that's the piety wonder, which probably loads of people will be going after. I think building a military is now the priority, isn't it? Probably build a military and maybe buy a university in Mecca. Everything cost a fortune by here. Um, build a work boat, I think. Uh, horseman. and get a couple of horsemen and a few chariot archers I think Real shame we can't get Petra in there, it would have been really useful. I think I'll keep that writer in there. Gonna need to build an amphitheatre. Ooh, I can't even say that. Amphitheatre at some stage. Because uh, I need a writing slot if I create a great work of writing. There's no uh, massively productive tile I'm missing out on at the moment. Uh, 
need to upgrade those hills by now. Trade routes, and yeah, they last a while yet. Need this uh, horseman mainly in case. Indonesia knocks a city, Samoa down quite a bit, so I can rush in and nick it. They actually upgrade to the night. Uh, if I take any. The knight is the camel archer, so these are really the wrong advancements, but I think I have to take one, so I'll take shock, I guess. I don't want to get too close to their borders, otherwise... They may uh, ask us what our intentions are. Build a catapult here. And I'll build second horse from here. I think it's been about half an hour now anyway, so I think I'll call this an end of the video. Uh, next video, hopefully we We'll be able to start the attack of Samoa at least. Uh, so thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please give the video a like. If you'd like to see more content like this, uh, please subscribe to my channel. I'm also doing an endless space let's play if you uh, don't already know. Uh, if you'd like to leave a comment or question, then I'll answer those. And most importantly, please watch the next video and I'll see you next time.